Hey there guys, this is DW96 from GroovyPost.com and today we're going to quickly go through what layers are in Photoshop and how do you use them. So for the occasion I have prepared a really small and basic Photoshop document. Um, imagine these uh, as a red and a blue sheet of paper. And I'm going to try to explain to you what layers are in perhaps the most basic way possible. So first of all, uh, you can see what my image actually looks like. And if we go down here to my layers panel, you can see I have um, separated the two sheets of paper into their own layers. So currently, really no usage for layers seen right now since the two sheets of paper are in uh, their own workspace and are not overlapping. So what if I were to take the red sheet of paper and get it on top of the blue one, just like so. Uh, so that's really great but you may want to take the blue sheet of paper and have that on top of the red one so how do you do it you can see as I'm dragging it right now it's having no effect whatsoever uh, so what you want to do is you want to grab the layer of the blue sheet of paper and drag it on top of the red one and by doing so uh, you can see the blue sheet of paper gets on top of the red one uh, so I think you're gonna get what layers are for uh, with this short demonstration practically selecting which object goes on top of which object and also separating images or objects from one another with separate layers uh, so uh, creating a layer is very simple you can press the create a layer icon right over here at the bottom of the layers panel and that will create a new layer called layer 1 you can double click on the name to rename it um, or you can press shift control n and this will bring up a small pop-up dialog and in here you can type in your name directly choose a color with which to differentiate your layer if it's something more special about it uh, now here we have a blending mode we're going to be talking about this a little bit later in this tutorial and of course set the opacity clicking ok it will create a layer in the same way that this small button here does now let's move on to the second thing about layers uh, which is also pretty important and one of the basics Adobe thought of this thing called layer groups and it's practically used for grouping similar images or items together in one small group which you can collapse anytime you want so it's like putting files in a folder and you're gonna get used to this feature pretty easily uh, the first way to create a layer group is by clicking on the create a new layer group icon in the bottom right of the layers panel this creates a new group and of course just as the layers you can double click to rename it uh, and of course uh, there's another way to create a group control and click on each one of your layers which you want to put in a layer group and then press control G to group those two layers together now you can see I, when I collapse the group the two layers will be added to that group uh, let's do this and now for the last thing about layers is the layer blending mode which I mentioned a little bit earlier so you can see currently the blue sheet which is on top of the red one is not opaque whatsoever and um, is not having any sort of transparent semi transparent effect but what if I were to click on this drop down arrow here and set the blending mode to something different such as color and you can see in this way uh, we're making the uh, blue sheet of paper slightly transparent and the red sheet of paper behind it is a little bit visible so this is what you call a blending mode now let's just start over here all the way from the top and slowly switch through each one of the blending modes so you can get an idea um, of what they could do um, blending modes are simply a way to blend uh, layers overlapping each other uh, and can be pretty useful on different occasions um, and that's another basic thing for layers uh, which you're gonna have to learn if you wanna blend certain images together uh, and backgrounds and if you're creating your own wallpapers so there you have it in a couple of minutes we explained the three basic things about layers thanks for watching this video tutorial and go to groovypost.com for more